You'd like to talk? How about that? So do we. Please join us right now for Packard Pokes at OK, Let's Talk. If you're just joining us now, this is our second segment. Now, this topic is going to cover the sacred cows, and this is going to get me a lot of hot water, possibly within the atheist community, and you know what? Then that's on you. But the people I'm going to discuss, their position is closer to my position than possibly yours. And I have seen this in the atheist community. We have people like Matt Dillahunty, smart guy, and we have people like Seth Andrews, and there's a lot of uh, higher-up people who are very popular in the atheist community right now. And if you were to question anything that they say, especially like people like me, I have a very small channel, and I have questioned certain people who were one person that was on the show, and I won't name their names if you've been watching the show for any amount of time, you know, and followed me on Facebook, facebook.com slash packerpokeset. This was a small brouhaha that got up because this person disrespected the, us on the show and I spoke out against it and I got a lot of blowback because I being a practically nobody had the audacity to speak up that's bullshit another person who had a, has a slightly larger channel than mine who hasn't made any videos uh, in a while but because he's got other projects that he's doing is Godless Geezer and he made this one criticism of Matt Dillahunty because Matt says that if you come across something that you can prove you can go pick up your million dollar prize or your Nobel Prize or whatever and you know he wasn't criticizing him just on this one point saying hey you can't get a Nobel Prize for proving evolution to be incorrect or something because Matt will sometimes say this on the atheist experience he'll say hey if you can prove that evolution is wrong you can go pick up your Nobel Prize well godless geezer tried to you know set the record straight said hey you don't get one for that for reasons I don't remember what they are off the top of my head but he got a lot of blowback from other atheists saying hey why are you attacking Matt why are you attacking Matt and why are you saying he's doing this wrong and he had to make another video said hey listen I am not attacking Matt I am just correcting the record of what he said, and that's it. But because Matt is a part of a bigger channel, part of a bigger, uh, bigger ass part of the community, people think that he should be venerated or he should be fan worshipped. It's Matt's position, and it's also Seth Andrews' position, and he's both of them said this on their podcast. Don't worship them. They're just guys. You're not to worship them. If they say something wrong, hey, they want to be corrected. And just recently, Bionic Dance came out with a video, and she was talking about Cirrus the Skeptic. And she said, hey, I hate to have a disagreement with another atheist in the atheist community, but she had to address some of the things that he said. And she made like a 20-minute video about it. And she was in the right to do so if she had a legitimate complaint or a disagreement. You shouldn't have to apologize to the community you're part of say hey i know we're all part of this community but honesty and looking for the truth is what we should be doing i think that's something we all agree on that's one of the reasons i think that many of us are atheists today is because we are searching for the truth we are actively looking for the truth to believe as many true things and as little false things as possible that's a almost a direct quote from matt dillahunty i i may have skewed it up a little bit but that's the basic essence of it and speaking of uh seth andrews on one of his videos he said that there is no sacred cows not even him so if you have a problem with anything i say about matt or seth andrews then that's on you that's not on me your thoughts tony the only i guess criticisms that i've had come my way at least when i first started my channel because when i first started my channel you had a lot of atheist youtubers attacking islam more than christianity but me living in america i thought okay i'm just gonna attack the religion that's mostly affecting my life and yeah you know i, I definitely got uh blowbacks from you know a, a other atheists but i think you pretty much said all of it uh this bullshit narrative that we can't criticize other atheists even if it's just a minor disagreement even if it's someone who has you know 10 times more subscribers than you. That shouldn't fucking matter, okay? And I think the atheist community should not have any golden cows, or in this case, you know, golden people who are, who are above criticism, you know? And, um, yeah, I don't have much experience with arguing with other atheists. Uh, not really, because, again, the, the only time I've 
really had a big thing going on was uh, I had a falling out with an atheist YouTuber by the name of Nightmare Fuel Podcast. And I guess his main beef with me is that, again, it was at the beginning of my channel that I was attacking Christianity more than I was uh, Islam. I agree with you on that point. I mean, you and I have had dis- dis- disagreements on a few things. Matt and I have had disagreements on things, even though we're all on the same show and everything together to have a disagreement amongst ourselves. That's perfectly fine. It's just because we're a smaller channel, and I, I hate to say this, but it's a it's a term that's used. We're actually punching up, as it were, because these people are, like you said, they have more of the numbers. And if they were to attack us, which they wouldn't, because they, I think these people have, unless we said something completely asinine, and if they want to correct us, which rightfully so they should do, in this instance, they should punch down. But in these instances, the people who are watching the shows that don't make their own content, they just you know listen to us making content and discussions they're kind of punching up at us and they're perfectly welcome to do so but if you're going to punch up at us don't be doing it like why are you attacking x y and z because they said something well i may have a disagreement with them i am perfectly well within my rights to voice that opinion no matter if you like it or not if matt says something that i disagree with i'm going to tell him if i say something wrong and that matt disagrees with me he He's going to tell me same thing with Tony. So if you know, and I was thinking about this today, you know, and if you say, hey, fuck you, Packard. Well, that's on you. I'm more than welcome for you to say, fuck you, Packard. Just like Tony is well, has probably had said people said, fuck you, Tony. People said, fuck you to Matt, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say, say this for the record, because uh, as you know, Packard, I, I plan on, you know, mirroring these episodes on my channel. Mm-hmm. Just for the record to any other people out there, I guess, fellow atheists who is not making content. In my personal opinion, you really don't have much to criticize us on if you're not making content of your own. That's all I'm going to say. I kind of agree and kind of disagree. See? See, we're able to agree and disagree. I think they have a right to say what they say, but and I and on this part I agree until they actually make their own content. Don't like what I'm trying to say. Yeah, actually, no, I, I got a perfect example. Uh, a number of years ago, uh, one of our past co-hosts on this show, Joe Unseen, his wife had a baby. I congratulated him because I knew him. I didn't know his wife, but I congratulated on the birth of his son. And a uh, fellow atheist complained because I was taking use of my channel, my show, and I took two minutes out to congratulate a fellow co-host, and he lost his fucking mind over it. I was like, you know, this is my show, and if I want to congratulate somebody on my show, even though it has nothing to do with atheism, it's still my show, and if I want to congratulate somebody or uh, rip somebody to shreds, that's my prerogative. And it doesn't right. matter if you if it's a fellow atheist or a Christian. Either way, they're in this instance wrong because this is my content. If they want to do that or not do that, they can go out and they can make their own goddamn show. Yeah, and and this is what I this is what I was trying to say a few few minutes earlier is that and and by the way it is true i don't make a lot of content about islam because i really don't know that much about islam i've mostly been surrounded by christians my whole life so when i get uh when i get the occasional comment criticizing me about not making enough islam content and then when i go to you know see that person's channel and they don't have any content well here's an idea why don't you go you know create content by yourself criticizing islam you don't need my permission for that Exactly. You no, know, that's perfect. That's a perfect example. I've come across some people like this that have made comments like, oh, you've only got so many subs, ha, ha, ha. And you go to their channel, they don't have any content whatsoever. They don't even have any content that they've mirrored or just uploaded from people they've stolen content from. So exactly. they So they have no leg to stand on when they make comments like that. It's, it's an ad hominem attack at, at best. Matt, I'm sorry I didn't mean to leave you out of this part of the conversation. No, it's fine. No, just listening to what you're saying, you know, it's like when you do something like that it's like it's like you've broken the golden rule of the youtube community of atheists yeah and you say something about somebody even though you're correct you know you get shit on because you you said something against you know somebody who's higher up than you or less right yeah no that's exactly it it's like if you're in the trenches you've got no right to uh, address the commanders and in the atheist community we have no commanders we have people who are more vocal because they may have been doing it longer but doesn't make that everything that they say is always going to be correct they make mistakes sure. just like everybody else does somebody made a video on something else not related to atheism and uh i made a comment about their video and i got so much blowback from it 
it's like oh man but there are a bunch of uh, conspiracy theorists mm. so I, I knew what was going on but it, it's just it's ridiculous the thing is if you want to be dishonest you stifle constructive criticism or you stay or you stifle all criticisms that's being dishonest i think if you want to be part of this community you have to be honest no matter where that road leads you mm -hmm. it's the politics of it though yeah you know, no, there, you, there's politics and everything yes there is exactly and, and in atheism there's politics too you're basically stepping on their toes and you're getting reamed out for it right that's well all. Well, that's if that's if the people that you're you know criticizing even respond because many of these people, for example, Matt Dillhunty, he'll probably never see this show, and unless somebody uh, points him to it and says, mm -hmm. "Here, you should watch this," and say, "Hey, you should comment on it," he'll most likely never see this, or neither will Seth Andrews, for example. He'll probably never hear. He's probably have never heard of me. There's been a lot of people that showed up on his doorstep. People have commented on his radio show. And he's like, who? I've never heard of that channel. I've never heard of that person. And these people are in the YouTube community, as they were, are pretty big names themselves. So for a channel like ours, the fact of anybody going to be hearing about anything we're saying about them, unless somebody knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows them they that would point them over here that's the only way they're going to find out about it right. or even if they're even going to care but honestly these people if i'm not mistaken from and and i could absolutely be wrong but from what i understand from the positions i've heard them talk about they hold the same position on this as i do in this instance and when it comes to people in the atheist community there is no sacred cows no leaders and no one to be venerated or just followed outright. Did you like this discussion? Let us know your thoughts by email at ppapodcast at gmail.com. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, please leave your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified for our show. Thank you.